I think the most disturbing thing to me with chimps is, well, there's two things. One, that they murder each other. But two, the hunting of the monkeys. Mm. Watching them hunt and kill and eat monkeys is so weird. For I mean, I think, was David Attenborough the first one to capture that on film? I don't know whether he was the first one, actually. I think Jane Goodall, back in the day when she was doing the gum well she still has the gombay chimp site but i think she and maybe a nat geo team i think they sort of documented it for the first time um and at that point nobody knew this this happened and then i think on a david attenborough project it was documented as well but in and gogo you know they, they're the biggest group ever known and they are very strong and powerful group and there's a lot of males and it is often the males that are involved in the hunting and they have taken hunting monkeys to a to another level was that what is that like to witness live because primates eating primates i don't know why but it's just it it, it doesn't feel right visceral reactions yeah. like, oh, i think boy. yeah it, it feels you know because you kind of group you group primates together yeah. and, and we're sort of separate in a way. Or that's how, how you think of them anyway. And I think also you spend so much, you know, if, you, if you're interested in chimps or you spend time around them, you can't, you're constantly making connections between you and them. So you're feeling, even though it's kind of a one way thing, you're feeling those similarities all the time. And then you, but then you see how they behave to other primates and and it's quite it it's shocking you 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 can't believe that as sophisticated as they are and how connected you feel to them you know they 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 don't feel that sort of level of compassion or empathy for for other primates at all and they are yeah they they hunt them regularly yeah how many did you witness them kill it was it was quite a lot i mean you know we've it's a completely sort of true authentic story that we documented so so everything in there is is what happened and in in the order that it happened but obviously we were there for 400 days so there's quite a lot of things that we filmed that didn't make it in now we didn't keep anything back that we thought was relevant to the story but there are sometimes other examples or other hunts for hunts is a really good example you know we didn't we didn't put in the series every time they hunted a monkey because it would be a lot of hunting monkeys we we saw it quite a lot um you know i remember on the on the second shoot but it was the first time the uh, a new camera crew had had come out and i was with one of the camera women lauren and she she was re really experienced woman in filming in hostile and remote locations but had never filmed chimps before and wasn't really used to the environment and and on our first day out, they they hunted a big black and white colobus monkey, and you know I mean it's everything that goes along with it. It's the sort of the the cooperation, the the teamwork. Um, you know, there's a tension in in the air when you know that they're going to hunt. They've decided to hunt, but it's not on yet, and they're sort of moving around the forest trying to get in a in a position where they can successfully catch this monkey. But then once they go for it, and then they're just chasing it, and, it, and, it, and it's chaos. And, you know, they, they are organized in a way they know exactly what they're doing, but you're sort of running around after it, and you quite often don't know, don't know exactly what's happening. Where's the monkey? Where are the chimps? And she, <laughs> she was just like, where am I? Like, what, what, what have I got myself into? But she was absolutely amazing because she sort of, you know, held the shots and, and a lot of what she filmed that day is, is in the series, actually. But I don't know, the energy when you're there and you're watching it, the, the energy of the whole thing takes over. And, you know, maybe this isn't a good thing, but I think when you have seen it quite a few times and you accept it as part of the, the natural relationship between these two species, you do become slightly desensitized to it. Um, and yeah, I remember the first time I saw it being being very shocked. But once you've seen it quite a lot and you know it's a natural part of their lives, you yeah, you don't you don't feel the same way about it actually. Is that their preferred food, do you think? 
Well, they, they, they're mainly fruit eaters, ripe fruit specialists. So, you know, their territory is, is filled with uh, fruiting trees. And those trees fruit at, at different times and at different cycles. And they have this incredible knowledge of, of all the trees that are in their territory. And, and they have a good idea about when they're going to come into fruit as well. So they're always moving around this vast territory and sort of checking out what's in fruit and what isn't. And they'll know that something's ah, it's not quite in, it's not quite ripe yet. It's not, but but that'll that'll stay there, and they'll come back and they'll they'll feed off that tree in the in in the days immediately after. So that's really that's that's they ha- to survive. They 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 depend on fruit. Monkeys seem to provo- provide a sort of a a different uh, purpose in in the chimpanzee community. They're definitely valuable from a nutritional point of view, but there seems to be other things going on as to why they hunt. And, you know, I don't know, I'm going to use some of the wrong terms here that scientists probably wouldn't uh, wouldn't support, but they, they do seem to enjoy it. It does seem to provide some sort of cooperative function. You know, it's not it's not sport, but at the same time, you know, it's it's not purely for survival. It's the there's something else there. And I think in in you know, when you watch them share meat after they've they've hunted a monkey, that's when some of its sort of function becomes clear because who who catches the monkey and then who gets a share of that becomes a really political business. And 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 that feels you know, from from our perspective, watching it, that suddenly it all sort of fell into place a little bit, because who gets meat and who doesn't has a sort of, um, it's very political. Yeah, it, it seemed like that in the documentary, where would in particularly uh, <clears throat> when the female with the, the baby got some, and the one male that didn't got very upset and attacked her. Yeah, that's that that's a kind of a classic. A example of it or yeah you know they're all there trying to get a piece of meat because they want to but um it, it risks upsetting other chimps because mm, the there's only so much meat there's only so and much a lot of chimps yeah and there's sort of the strongest alliances are being sort of served in in that situation. So sometimes, you know, chimps get a, a scrap here or there.